Hello, 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 everybody. It's me, Pamela, here at Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. So we are going to make a card today. I got just about everything cut up. I'm just getting the pieces we will need. So, um, thinking that might be all of it. <laughs> And put these out of my way because I just like grabbed it all. All right, so this is actually a pretty simple card. It is a fun fold card, but it's so so simple. So um, I'm glad I got everything all taken care of um, with getting it all set. So we're using thoughtful expressions today. Thoughtful expressions is, um, I believe, an online exclusive. But it is so pretty. It's these, actually, or is it in the mini catalog? It might be in the mini catalog. So pretty. I love the hummingbird and the beautiful flowers. You can choose to get it with the, um, what do you call it? The dyes. I love these dyes. These are um, graduating uh, dyes here and again here. So cool. And it also comes with the ones that um, die cut this one out, this one out. It does some leaves and tiny flowers. So, so cool. It does the um, the hummingbird. So you got the da, da Yeah. And oh, and it does this one. So it cuts out all of these ones plus some leaves and flowers. So, but yeah, it's a huge die set. It How many dies come in this? 19 dies are in this one. So you can choose to get it as a bundle and save 10, 10% or you can just get the dies. I mean, it's worth it just for these ones, honestly, I think. So um, I got most of everything put on my little, um, what do you call these things over here? My acrylic blocks. So um, first of all, we are going to, um, I might not have gotten all my, my white papers. If not, I'll just go through them again. Alrighty, so oh, I don't need this one. So you're gonna need, like I said, one sheet of um of cardstock. I know you're thinking that's a lot for one card, but it, it it does turn out to be a super cute card. So what I did was I cut it in half at four and a quarter, and then I cut these ones in a half at five and a half. Now, um other people, I've seen this um, design, other people have done it where um, they use a little bit more than one sheet of cardstock. So um, you can do that. You can go find somebody else's and it'd be longer or wider here. But I just decided um, why and just use the same. So we're going to go here. We're going to score it at two and a half. Two and a half here. And their, uh, their scoring and everything is different than mine, too. So, um, which is another thing. You can do what you want. Um, and then we're going to go up here and we're going to score it five and a half, which is basically in half. And then we're going to go up here to eight and a half. It would be easier if you were to take in from all the same here, but um, honestly, this is, I like this one. So let me just slide this right here. Now, here's what we're going to do is we are going to, how does it go again? Yeah. So we're going to fold it in half like this. I'm going to actually take my bone folder real quick, and then we're going to fold this one up this way. Um, I'm going to fix that camera just a stitch. Yeah. And we're going to go this way. And then again, we're going to go this way. So you're going to get this that either looks like a W or an M. It's going to be an M, honestly, for me. Alrighty. And then we're going to end up putting in, it in here like this. So. So let's work on our front piece here. Oops. 
Oops. So I've got this piece here. Now you could add some color to this. That would be really pretty if you wanted to do that. And I was thinking maybe a, um, I forget what colors are in this DSP again. This is an, a DSP from last year. Uh, this was Wonderful World. Um, I'm going to do 30 Flamingo. Oops. If I can get this over here without. There we go. I'm listening to Gettysburg's dress right now. I used to know it by heart. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, not this one. This one's the Johnny Cash version. But, um, like I said, I think I'm going to put a little bit of this really pretty flirty flamingo um, of a border on it. Not much, just, just a smidge. This is optional. You don't have to use or take and do this step. So um, I'm going to grab some scrap paper. Anything here. Just pin in here. And that's going to help bring out some of those um, colors in our um, DSP. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is kind of overcast here in Florida, but it's still pretty, I guess. I go in tomorrow to talk to my foot surgeon. Hopefully he's like, oh, Pamela, you are the best patient I've ever had. <laughs> and most of my patients, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll stay off of it. I promise. But then they end up getting on it soon after. But you, you, you listen to my instructions quite well. So you're healed. You can get on your feet again. <laughs> I know it's probably wishful thinking, but, um, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what they say tomorrow or what he says tomorrow. So this is just a smidge of color on the outside. Now to decide which one I want here, I think this is the side I wanted and see how it's just bringing just a little bit of that, that pink in there. So let's get some glue. I'm going to just use my precision glue gun here. Yep. Yeah, I've already told you guys how I feel about this thing. I think it's a waste of, waste of money unless you can just, just get this and use your little um, Amazon uh, little guys here. I don't know. I just, every one of those bottles of glue that came with this thing. Put a little love in there. Just broke. <laughs> it's like, mm, no, I don't like it. So, right. now I I did a small little little border because I like little borders, but you can do more of a border if you want to. But there you go. And then I'm going to layer it onto the front of our card as well. And again, I did again, just a quarter of an inch, or just an eighth of an inch border. So, oh, you know what? I might want to wait for this because I might want to put some ribbon. I did not think this card all the way through because what I did was um, I made this one. So cute, isn't that little guy cute? I made this one. And then I'm like, oh, but I want to use the thoughtful expressions. So I really didn't think much further than that. So I'm going to get some ribbon real quick. Or maybe twine. Wait a second. I do have my twine right here. Um, lots of twine. There's some. I've got old twine, new twine, happy twine. So 
twine that came with paper pumpkins, lots of those. Um, still thinking this one. This is a, um, what was this one again? Crushed curry. So I'm going to use it. And you guys know I usually don't do like a whole bunch. So I don't like to wrap it around like a hundred times. So I'll probably just... this. So let's see. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my Roomba. <laughs> I, I've got pugs, as you can tell, you know, Lady Pug Stamp Studio. So I get dog hair everywhere. Worse than a cat. I, I know. I used to have cats when I was younger. But um, pugs are like very hairy. There you go. So I'll still use that. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run this across down here. So let's get us some Stamp and Seal Plus. I like Stamp and Seal Plus when it comes to stuff like this because um, it's really going to stick. Now you could wrap this, make it easier on yourselves. Absolutely. But you can also do it this way and save some ribbon, just, just a little bit of it, not a lot, but enough. There we go. I'm going to take this one more time. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal that in there with some of my tear and tape. I know it's tear and tape, but I'm using scissors and I'm using the wrong scissors. I need my ones that I've got set aside just for my stickies. And then, and that's going to help seal it on there so it's not it's really not going to come off. Now I could take my, I might just use these because I can't find my, take my pick tool because sometimes I lose things in my crafting, even though I don't get up. <laughs> um, so there we go. And then I'm going to put some glue on here and then we'll add it. Then we'll work on the front. Um, so I still, this is my little tweaking of my, my card class. So I'm going to put some love in there. I think we're going to put some vellum. I know you heard the news. It's so sad. They're doing away with vellum. But if you are a vellum lover like me, I have got a... Um, a brand that I have been using that is, I think, I love Stampin' Up! Don't get me wrong, but I think mine, mine is the best weight and um, consistency is probably, it's probably even better than Stampin' Up! It's probably why people are like not buying Stampin' Up! is because they probably too found this, um, this one here. So let me show you real quick. Not this one. That's not it. This one's, that one's it. So it's called Thick Vellum and it's um, Olymp Olympio. It is awesome. I think I get this on Amazon and it's, it's, it's great and it's not very expensive I don't think but it's very very thick it's not like this 
I believe is, is stamping up. Okay. I love it. It's great. But it's not like. See how. Okay. So let me see. That's stamping up. Okay. And this is this one. So you're, you've got more of a thickness to it. So it's great, right? So we're going to put that down here. So just now that you guys know, <laughs> I shove all my things back in there like little little pockets of my thing here. I'm going to put my color back up here. I might need that again. But all right, we are going to use that. So now that I've got this, now we're going to work on the inside really quick. And then we're going to make our focal point. All right. So there were so many pretty DSPs. So I thought I would really want to use some of that right there. Oh, I must have. Oh, no. You know what? I grabbed the wrong. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong um, size. That's what it was. All righty. There. Got this one. We're going to get that one adhered over here. We're going to put some of those pretty, like, little um, hummingbirds and stuff in here as well. We're supposed to have a storm tomorrow. I know half the Midwest is having a storm today. I know my son and my daughter in law, or two of my sons and my Two of my daughter-in-laws in Wichita are getting the outskirts of what my family in Oklahoma are getting. And my cousin just made it just in time to get sucked into a giant storm from California. And she just left a storm. <laughs> so, <laughs> my family in California. I'm, y'all know, I'm a California girl that moved to Washington, actually, from California, I moved to Hawaii. From Hawaii, I moved back to California. From California, I moved to Washington State. From Washington State, I moved to Illinois. From Illinois, I moved to um, back to Washington State. This one and this one and another one of these ones. There we go. All right. Back to, okay, so back to Washington State, from Washington State, back to California, from California, back to Washington State, from Washington State, to Kansas, <laughs> from Kansas to Florida. Whew, that's a lot. It's a lot of moving, huh? And there was moves in between then, too, because, you know, you had to go from your rental to your... Um, from your rental to base housing or from the base housing to a rental because you don't like base housing. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of moving. It's like my, I told my husband, I go, I really don't want to move anymore. Um, but I think there's one more move in store for us. Actually, I think I'm going to do this one. Actually, not that one, this one. I really want those little tulips. I... I'm, I'm a tulip person. I used to go to the Tulip Festival. That's happening right now in Skagit Valley, Washington. Um, yeah, I miss the tulips. I love the tulips. So um, I didn't realize what my favorite um, flower was until I moved to Washington and I realized I love tulips. So now you don't have to take and go or you don't have to leave a little white, but I decided I wanted to leave a little bit of white at the bottom there. And so I'm going to do the same over here. Now I'm going to put this over here for a second. I think I'm going to want a ribbon, but I don't need to have that in the way right now. So yeah, so fingers crossed that they are like, you can at least put a little at, le at least a little bit of weight on it you know this non-weight bearing is for the birds i tell you right now it's for the birds i don't like it 
it'd be better if I can like at least be not have a spinal cord injury. I think it'd be easier, <laughs> but with a spinal cord injury, when you say non-weight bearing, it is non-weight bearing. Like there's no, there's no in between. So I think that's why I hate it so much. Oh, I didn't even glue that down yet. I will in a second. So I'm gonna get this one. And again, I did just that tiny little eighth of an inch border because I like that. You are you can always do more. In fact, I wanna say um Dawn, I think that's who I watched that did I got the inspiration. Dawn at the glitter pit. Um, I got the inspiration from her. She, um, she didn't do a little border, but like I said, it's your card, it's your craft room. You can do what you want. That's what I always say. So if you want just a tiny little eighth of an inch border, then do a tiny little eighth of an inch border. If you don't want any border at all, then don't do any border at all. Now, I don't think I'm going to adhere this one just yet because I want to do some stamping on it. So now let's get some white card stuff here real quick. I want some thick white card stuff. So let me get some thick basic white that's over here. I've got lots of scrap paper. So oh, this is what we're going to do is we're going to get my birds and my I don't know what saying I'm going to have. I like this one that says, where in the world? But I think I want, I think I want this one because I think that I want this to go across the bottom of the front. So, I think what I want to do here is I want this So I'm going to put the vellum behind it on a, a so with the, um, so yeah, so. I think that's what I do. Let's see here. Some basic black. This is our Memento Tuxedo Black. What I've done is I just took the, um, the craft White and I just put tuxedo black. So now I've got a refill left for my craft white. So there you go. I'm doing yeah, do. I might die it out too so Look how pretty that turns out. See how beautiful it is. Now, I don't think I'm done here. I think I'm gonna do a couple of flowers. I think I'm gonna do maybe, maybe three of these ones. I don't know if I'm gonna do this one. We'll just get them all. Now I've got, um, flirty flamingo. Um, I'm going to say, I always, my ideas for my colors always come from my paper. So I've got orchid oasis, pear pizzazz. Do I have, is pear pizzazz a retired color? No, it's over here somewhere. So where's my pear pizzazz? No, where is pear pizzazz? Maybe it is. Um, 
Mossy Mellow, Mellow, that Mossy, Mossy Meadow. That's the color we'll use. Mossy Meadow. Um, and then Orchid Oasis. There we go again, Pamela. All right. And then Orchid Oasis. Here we go. So I'm going to just add some. Whoa. Got this I've got to find I just placed an order today too. This you know what? This is the second time that's happened to me. It's broken here. I don't I don't remember dropping any of my pins, but you know what? Yeah, this one's dead. I'm gonna have to place another order. I'll put it in there. I'm gonna leave this out. I'm going to go through all my colors, which is so weird because I know I haven't broken or dropped any of them, but apparently I must have. Um, so what I'll do, because I want it to be blended out, so I will just put this in there and I'll go back in there again as soon as it dries. Okay, so... Um, also want a little bit of that lolly lemon. I'm gonna do daffodil delight. Not bad. Now this one I do know I've got another one coming, but um, I ordered that one today because the same thing happened. So I should uh, I should. I should start asking and seeing if I am the only one that's been having that issue where they're splitting. I think I am. And this is the dark and I actually like the light. So maybe. What did I know? I'll do you lolly lemon, I guess. What I could do, actually, let's put our lolly lemon back. What I could do is I can go in with maybe, what color is this one? Soft sea foam. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. So if you guys, um, I love Beyonce. Don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing her in any way, shape, or form, but that song, Jolene, I'm sorry, but have you ever heard Miley Cyrus sing that song? I love me some Dolly Parton, too. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Dolly Parton, but oh, my goodness. Miley Cyrus's version of that song, just like, whew, it was awesome. It was awesome. And so now we've got... Um, now we've got, um, is this, uh, dark depth of light. Um, now we've got Beyonce singing it. I don't think anybody's going to be able to do it justice again. Not after Miley sang it. Miley just like, she even made Dolly Parton's version not be as amazing as hers. So. That is, um, mm -hmm. it's just me. That's how I feel about it. But she, I mean, other than that, I guess it's okay. Now, I'm going to just leave that there. And I think I'm going to go in here with some of this um, Dark Orchid Oasis. And I think I, actually, I think I want her wings.
can listen to my music right now, too. But it's in my ear, so you guys don't have to listen to it. I just feel like I do better when I'm listening to music. I promise I won't sing. I think I want my flowers to be pink. Actually, I might want. Now we'll see. Is my head in your way? Oh, you know what? I've actually got my camera all skewed. Look at that. See? I should have been watching what I was doing. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe a little more. There we go. Now, now let's see. So, yeah, so as you can tell, I have been all over this beautiful country. And I really never thought I'd end up in Florida, but I did. It's okay. But, um, yeah. And I've got ADHD. I hope you guys can realize that about me. That's why I'm all over the place all the time. My train of thought is always everywhere. And we're going to just let that, um, go to um go to voicemail <laughs> so it's that you guys don't have to listen to talk to people and that is one of the reasons why i love my new camera i just told you guys i got this new camera for doing my videos yeah i did and it's fantastic so and it's just probably my doctor's office reminding me of my appointment tomorrow, which I thought they had already called this morning to do, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, as I was saying, my thought process is all over the world. That's why um, even my cards sometimes, you guys probably think, okay, that's a cute card, but wow, she was all over the place when she was making it. It's my ADHD. I try to like not I try to have things like where they're set but it's never it's not exactly easy for me I think I like those so now let's go with our light orchid oasis is this light it's light I might go in some more with that yellow we'll see Ooh, I like that color. It is, is going away, by the way, you guys. As of the end of this month, you are not going to be able to work with this Orchid Oasis. Or you're not going to be able to find this Orchid Oasis anymore. But you know what? You can probably find a color pretty close to it at you know one of your favorite crafting stores. But I don't know. I just love this color. Um, it's one of one of the colors I love. I think Stampin' Up! does a really good thing with their end colors. I really do. Um, they um, have a good eye on what are really, really pretty colors. But then they get rid of some and you're thinking, why'd you get rid of that color? It's such an all, all the time color. And then they bring it back as an end color that is going to be pretty and pink. So if you actually loved pretty and pink, just note that you are going to be able to um, get that color again. I just cannot believe that this is broken. I've got a little bit of color on here, so... Yeah, 
when I get off of here today, I'm going to go through all of my colors and make sure that mossy meadow, I might use that mossy meadow right in there, the other broken one, alrighty, and see which ones are, you know, not so great, alrighty, so I do know that, I'm going to cut that out, but let's say, I might want the biggest one with the vellum, and then maybe this one. All right, let's get our cut and gloss machine out here. Oh, and we also want to get our flower and our hummingbird. And then we also want to try not to make a huge mess here. <laughs> I guess it is what we do. Oh, I was going to do it on this one, huh? So, um, I don't know if that's, maybe, oh yeah, it's, it'll be, it'll be big enough. Yeah, it'll be good, good enough. So. And then the big one, i just kind of get a piece chopped out of here real quick. So like I said, um, if you actually do like Stampin' Up's vellum, you might want to grab some while you still can, because I think once it's gone, it's gone, because they did not put it in the new catalog. And it's not going to, it might become an online exclusive. I don't know for sure, but people are over here with their fingers crossed, obviously. I don't blame them. Because if you've grown to love something, you've grown to love something. I um, have found another one that I actually love even more. So I've been using it for years. There we go. So this one here. That one. Right there. Um. Oh, of course you had to come in here, didn't you, Roomba? I'm going to run these through first, and then we'll take and do the other ones. I do know this is a tight fit, so we're going to make sure we get it on there. So if you want to make this card, I do a monthly class that you could do with me, and I'll send you the materials. So I told you it was a tight fit, <laughs> super tight fit. I might actually take that um, Lurdy Flamingo again. And um, go across that white. So. Um, this up here one more time. This little one done, and wish they would have given us two of that cut out for the um, die for the um, flower, but that's okay. shouldn't be so picky, but I am. What? Okay. 
I should just get my washi tape, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Hold your breath. I know I am. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, my flower moved. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, it did a little bit, but I think I'm okay with it. How bad is my bird? Ooh, it was a lot more centered than I thought. See that? All right, now let's get our um, flowers over here. Die cut out. Okay. How was your guys' Easter? Mine was very relaxing. I didn't do much. I watched my husband swim because my doctor said that I can shower, but I couldn't soak my foot, so no baths. So I'm like, well, that's very nice of you, at least until the, the stitches come out, which should be, if all goes well, maybe tomorrow. So fingers crossed. Prayer said all that stuff. All right. There we go. Get this real quick. <laughs> I have to keep looking because I've dinged this camera so many times that it moves. And the next thing I know, you guys are looking at my lap. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there we go. I don't think I could salvage anything off of that. So, what did I do with that blender brush? Um, I didn't think I threw it away, but I might have. Oh, no, there it is. All right. Okay. And I did have paper. There it is. And I might actually do the whole thing. A little bit darker on the edges, a little bit softer on the inside. want to take and do the class you only have to first class is always free after that it's thirty dollars you get to make two of each product the first class you get to make one of each it's basically like so you can get a fill for me and i can get a fill for you you know all that good stuff you, you know and um And um, but after that, you make two of each product. Now you could actually opt for the one that you wanted to buy, and um, your first one would be fifteen if you wanted to do it that way, and then you can make you know two of each. But um, oh, where's that? What did I do with that? Oh, there it is. Hmm. What was the stamp I wanted to use? It says this one and says, enjoy your day. I think I want a, this one says, I don't think this was from this one, but I think I want this one to say just a little note to say hello. So, um, I think I'm gonna bring in that flirty flamingo again. Oh, you know what? I've got so many pretty little things on here that I need to like mess around with. These little pages here. So I'm 
I just put that right there in the center. So that's good, but um, so I'm going to think what I'm going to do here. I should have done it before, but what I could do is I could just do two more. something there and then do um, more for the front a couple more for the front you guys think that'd be cute and I can adhere this one here let's do that now I keep forgetting to put my glue on or my little needle in here oh well <laughs> still works go away Roomba Nobody wants you in here. I'm probably saying, but this is the messiest room of the house. I have to get in there. <laughs> all those little pieces of everything all over the floor, lady. Yeah. And then we're going to take and we will adhere it. Let's see. Like that. And then like that. So, but I'm going to just put the glue on here. But I think I'm going to glue this onto the back first. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and center it here. I am using glue, so that is a good thing because I can actually play with it just a smidge. There we go. Again. And that's one of the reasons why I like to use the um, the glue for this because I could take and make sure it's straight on there. Now, you know that's going to go here. I want a little sentiment down here. I want to do a couple more of these like little um, uh, the, 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 you know what I'm talking about the um, flowers if I can find some more here's some a couple might be able to get a couple of them here there's my there it is black memento ink Let's see if I can't get three of them here because I kind of need three but we'll see Nah, I think I'm only going to be able to get two. That's all right. I'll just get another piece of DSP. There we go. Why not DSP, but um, paper. Yeah. Hmm. Or I think I got another idea. Yeah. Now don't worry about this. I know it's just silver, but watch what I'm going to do here. Is I'm going to get the one that's not broken, this one here. And I'm going to take the brushy side and get 
my little leaves here. And this is going to dry relatively quickly, but it's just going to, it's still going to give that sh pretty shimmer, but it's going to be that green that I've been wanting. And I think I'm going to do is um, incorporate, I think that might be enough. I'm going to kind of make it a little square. Oh. Nope, not answering that one either. There we go. Now. I think I'll do is just cut this out and then color the rest of it. That way I don't have, have like a bunch of it colored that color and that's not the color I want to. believe it's the light. I really want to do the black or dark. Let's see if I can get some of that dark on here. Kind of. It's like the brush tip. There's a little bit of ink on it still. I'm definitely adding this into my um, cart and starting another cart after today. But after I go through all of my blender pins and see if any of them has done this because this is so weird. over here to dry. Oops, I just dropped part of my, my design. All right. So, um, oh my gosh, it's coming on to an hour. I am so sorry, people. <laughs> All righty. So let's see here. I'm going to get the light again. Do a quick one here, not piddle too much. Card's just about done. All we're doing now is just waiting on the final final outcome here. And then. pink ones. What if I did two in the Orchid Oasis? I think that's what I'm going to do. So. I mean, nobody said it had to be certain colors, right? All I'm doing is just kind of smearing some of the dark and then I'm going to blend it in with the light. I am not a colorer, like I'm not professional in, on any means. I can just stampin' up some blender pins, kind of make it seem easy because they blend so well. But now I'm starting to think, you know, if they're gonna break this easily. I don't know if I want them no more. <laughs> no, I actually, I love them. It's just that that is kind of irritating that they would um, break like that and it seems like it's all in the same spot like it's like prone so I'm going to get on and find out if um, other people are having the same issues or if it's just me so. okay so let, now let's get these cut out real quick and then we're going to assemble our card.
Roomba's leaving. Yes. Alrighty, so I need. Come here. This one. See how many more I can get of those. great song playing right now. I'm, I'm singing in my head. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I don't know if I can get away with playing my music on here for you guys to listen to too. So, you know, so, okay, I'm going to just run this through. Maybe see if I can't get at least two more things of our leaves in here as well. I do have this one over here. I might run it through once. There we go. This little flower. And I'll do that one in a second. I should probably get this one up first. I like to get the... Um, What do you call it? Um, plain silver uh, paper like this when they bought it because um, it's amazing. You can do, you can change it into whatever color you want. So I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze the other one in there, but I'm going to I'll see here. Maybe. Okay, now if I'm really, really careful. I didn't know I was going to be cutting out so many. Uh, there we go. Dies back in their little home over here. Now I guess I have to find my take my tip and pick tool because I took those off of here. Um, where did you put it, Pamela? It's usually right here. Oh, here's a stylus. I'll just use it. I think. Maybe not. I don't think it's tiny enough for my style stylus. Um, oh, but I do have this thing. Yeah. Right. That one. I got that one out already. I'm gonna have to look for my take my pick tool. I'm off of here after I after I go through my blending pens. Alrighty. Now let's get this. Oh, trying to keep my foot elevated, y'all. Okay, so we got this one. Um Use my stylus here. Okay. 
Okay, so those are just um, slots, little slits. Not all of them are completely hollowed out. So, there we go. And then I guess it's easier to go from the back here. And then let's here. all my little pieces. I got pieces. Yeah. And that's a slit. Oh, but this one is not. This one is comes out. Right. There we go. Whew. That took me a minute. All right. Now, now I do know I want my there in the middle. Let me do it. And then Those of you on the inside, And then, yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. All righty. So let's see here. Um, I think I want this to go directly down, but everything else I want to go up with dimensionals. So let's grab some dimensionals. enough and maybe some there we go alrighty so let's now I like to let my dimensionals play double duty so I'm going to take and um, that here. And I think I'm going to snip this one. Now we're going to get these guys put together. I think I want this one to go right there. At least I know exactly where it's going to go. So we're going to just put it right there. That's done. Oh, 
So I'm going to put this one in here. I think I'm going to have this one go there. Another one. Oh, oh, scared me. <laughs> I might want to try and get a little dot up there. Let's see here, where's the tweezers? Here's some. Good enough for now. I could actually use those tweezers. There we go. And then, like I said, we're going to have our little hummingbird in the center there. So we're just going to put her up, or him, up on some dimensionals as well. Oops, I didn't cut these ones down just yet. And then we'll decorate the rest of the inside of the card and we'll be finished. Oh, well, and a sentiment, I guess, if I really wanted to. But I might not. I might just leave it just the way it is. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Like I said, I think I want this to be directly on there. So I'm going to go with... Um, Maybe glue dots or some glue dots. Where are my glue dots? Um, there they are. <laughs> Come on, get on there. You know what? stay. Maybe one more. So cute. Now, nice. What I think I want is my bow. Just trim the edges down when I'm done. I might not want a sentiment on the front of this. We'll see in a second. Let's get some good scissors here. So that's that. Now, There and 
then I think I want this one to go over. Here. To go across like that. Yep. Smidge get glue. Glue goes a long way here. No, I do over there. That's the one I wanted. It was on my crease. I wasn't going to do very good there. There we go. And we're done. So let me show you our final project here. So that's the front of our card. And I still might go in there with a the little thing. I think I will. And then the inside. Yep. Yeah, I think I will. But I won't make you guys sit here with me to do that. I'll just do it on my own and let you guys go for the afternoon since I've been on here for an hour and almost 13 minutes. So you guys have an amazing afternoon, and I'll catch you guys later. Remember to um, go, head on over to Facebook to my um, VIP group and, and join. It's called Lady Pudkins' Stamp Studio. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.